Natalie, thank you. Let's get to your election watch this afternoon. Time is ticking to turn in your ballot. And while it may be an off year election, depending on where you live, there might be some elected offices to decide on. But there are three issues we all have the, on the ballot this year. So let's go ahead and break it down in this election crash course. So here are the three statewide initiatives. Amendment 78, Proposition 119, and Proposition 120. Amendment 78 is asking you to have all custodial money be allocated by state lawmakers. Now, this is money that that comes through the state. Think of uh, legal settlements, emergency relief funds, things like that from Congress, as well as other sources. Typically, the governor or attorney general may be in charge of where that money goes. Think of the CARES Act money we saw during the pandemic the state received. That was up to the governor. But because it's a constitutional amendment, it does need at least 55% of voters to approve it in order to pass. Let's get to Proposition 119. Now this is asking you about increasing recreational marijuana taxes over the next few years to fund out of school learning programs. Currently, the sales tax on cannabis is 15%. This would increase it to 20% by 2024. The measure also moves money within the budget, including from the state land trust to pay for the program. Proponents say it will help low income families have access to these after school programs and tutoring. Those against it say it takes away money that could be used for public education. And with increasing taxes, they believe it could move more marijuana business to the black market. And finally, all Coloradans will be deciding on a question to reduce assessment rates for property taxes. As we reported, though, this issue could get a little complicated here with a new state law and even a potential lawsuit by the organizers of the initiative. So the question is asking to reduce residential assessment rates to 6.5%, commercial property rates to 26.4%. But that new state law adds various classifications for assessment rates, making it so the rates may actually only apply to apartment and lodging properties. Organizers say they do plan to sue the state if it passes to have the rates apply to all properties. But depending on where you live, your ballot may go beyond just these three issues here. For example, in Pueblo, there are city council races and then all throughout the Pikes Peak region we have a lot of school board races as well. And there's also probably going to be questions asking about bonds, sales tax increases, and ultimately what to do with your tax dollars. We have a breakdown of many of these issues on our website, koaa.com. Just click on the election watch tab at the top. And so far, a little more than 